and we're live. So, trying something new. This may or may not work. See if I have video. Not seeing video yet. Good thing there's nobody here. Just gonna let's see if I can get this working. Nope, nothing working.
Can you hear me now? Is there anything now? I'm trying to fix it. Let's see if I got the audio. Any audio? Can you hear me now? Can you hear anything now? Okay, trying to fix it. Okay, we finally got audio. <laughs> we got a few viewers. Um, hey, what's up, Kellen and Belfast Bricks? Thanks for joining me. So I started this video and not realizing that there was audio. So I'm gonna <laughs> gotta start over right now. Um, so basically, all these minifigures. There we go. So um, all these minifigures, double VIP points for Lego Shop at Home. Um, I I just figures now since they've gone up to four dollars a pack now. So what I did is I ordered thirty-two off of Lego Shop at Home. And believe it or not, I still did not get a a full set, which I was kind of disappointed with. Um, I did get 15, uh, no thirteen. There's sixteen in the whole series. I only got thirteen. So I did. I did my feeling of them. I know what I have in here. Um, I do have quite a few extras. There's only one minifigure that I wanted to keep duplicates of. All the others I'm basically going to take back. Um, I, don't, I don't need them. What I'm thinking about doing is doing a some sort of trade, or you know, posting something on my Instagram and seeing if anyone kind of in my local area wants to meet up and maybe do a trade. If not, I'm going to take them all back. I know I got quite a few of the unicorns, and those were, I think those are one of the, the popular ones, but I only wanted one of them. So I think I have three or four extra unicorns. So I'm going to go ahead and either trade those or take them back. So that's just the way it goes. But I was also talking about these, these bionicle things that have came with you know, free, per I guess, qualified purchases at Lego store or shop at home. And I have absolutely no use for these because I don't, I, I don't collect Bionicle at all. So I do not know what I'm going to do with these. I may just either sell them or just find someone that wants them and give them to them. And then, of course, the old free poly bag. I have this to build. But my heap over here is uh, getting pretty big. I, have, I need to catch up on my building. But quite a few new sets. Quite a few old sets still too. But I know I have a request for someone. They want to see the Lego Friends um, Emma's, Emma's house built. And I still have the other Lego Friends house that I haven't built. So I need to get caught up with the, the Lego Friends Homes, I guess you would say. So, I don't want to make this video, you know, too crazy train wreck long. So, I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in. So, I've kind of mixed these back up. I've already done the field test on them, so I kind of know, I know which minifigures I'm missing. But now that they're all mixed up, I don't know without trying to feel them again what they are. So, it's gonna kind of keep it a surprise. And remember, there are some duplicates in here. I did keep some for duplicates. So, here we go. We'll start with the first one. Move this down. So let's see what's up. And as I open them, I'll kind of do a little review of them. So here we go. The first one is the 
little fencing guy. He's pretty cool. So I guess the he's got two he's got two different colored hands. He's got a flat or a yellow yellow hand and then the white glove. I'm not a I'm not a follower of, of fencing. So it looks like it looks like the little sword goes in the yellow yellow hand. I guess the white hand is for I mean the yeah the white hand is for protection. And then the yellow hand is for gripping the sword. So there's our first one. I do like the cool little molded headpiece because it's hard to see on this video, but you can actually see through it. There's holes in that, that little um, strainer looking headpiece thing. So there's our first minifigure. So I'm going to kind of keep this thing open right on my side so we can kind of go from there. Yeah, you know. All the houses from the Lego Friends, well, I guess there's only two, but they both look pretty cool. And, you know, of all this, of all the, um, all right, so we got our, we got our carpenter. See the little piece of wood there. Of all the, um, this, I guess the themes of what that Lego has, Friends has become one of my favorite themes because, um, it's, just the, the, the creativity, the, the cool different colored parts. Um, it's just been really, really fun to build a lot of the Lego Friends sets. So here's, of course, our carpenter. And he's got the short sleeves, cool little printed, printed legs. Hey, what's up, Maniac for Bricks? Um, oh, I like the, I like the printed hair. So, you know, when, when a lot of these sets come out, I kind of read on the news and stuff about them, but I don't, I don't really look at all the details because I want to save a lot of the surprise for myself. So opening these minifigures, even though I've known they've been out for a while, this is really a fun experience for me because I'm more or less seeing these up close for the first time, even though there's a lot of high quality pictures out there. So, um, this is this is kind of fun to to see the the detail in these. So there's the carpenter, and of all the the minifigures that I kind of searched for, this is the only one that I want to do duplicates of, just because I love the the um the saw, and the helmet is really cool. And I even like the head. I don't have a a sick fig yet, but I'm kind of slowly working on one. And I'm thinking about one of these to uh, to make part of my minifigure. I think I know which face I want, but I don't know what. I'm torn on what legs and torso to go with. I've got the the head and the, the hair piece figured out. So the uh, maniac is saying that the Spencer is the elusive for you to find. <laughs> so I uh, I don't know if you caught earlier, but I was saying I have so many of these. I actually have quite a few fencers that I'm more or less going to try to get rid of, either take back or, or get rid of. Now we have the little uh. No, they don't put official names on here, but this is kind of the, uh, I guess the Roman or Greek, I don't know, Persian little princess lady. There's that one. This one is kind of meh. Reminds me of the Prince of Persia sets. Although the headpiece is slightly different. I'm not a big fan of this roundish sword. 
And then you've got the, the kind of mummy printing around the, the legs and the torso. I guess the shield piece is kind of cool. It's all right. It's kind of not my favorite I guess, time period or theme. What do we got here? Uh, everyone's favorite. This is what everyone's after. The hot dog man. And to be honest with you, when I did a blind order of these off of the shop at home site, I was really worried if I would get one of these or not. Not so much that I really wanted it, but more or less that I didn't know how rare they really are. So it's really not overly detailed. It's just the molded hot dog piece. And then it has, um, you know, the, the printed hot dog and then a the little printed mustard. The bun is really not, not that real, not that great. I, I kind of hope they do like other food items like this, like we've seen on the Saturday Night Live skits with Justin Timberlake where you have, you know, tacos and pancakes and various other food items. That'd be kind of funny. So the hot dog one's kind of cool to start with. All right, so that's four. We've got four of four of 16. We're getting there. Well, remember, there are going to be a few duplicates, not many, although I have um, about 20 other of these that are ready to go back to the store. Now we have, oh, this is this is one that I was really looking forward to. This is the, um, the Western Sheriff. So if anybody has followed some of my other videos, you know kind of one of the themes that I really want to see come back is a Western theme or, if, um, you know, something that would get approved on, on Cuso or I guess Lego Ideas now is the, the Western stuff. So I really, really love these um, these figures. We saw a lot of Western stuff, not a lot, but some in the Lego movie sets. Those are really cool. But they were robo sheriffs and robo other things. I guess the other closest thing we had was the, um, what was the, oh, the Lone Ranger. That was the last semi Western theme that we had. Real Fast is asking if the hot dog man is rare. I don't think it's really rare. I think it's just in such high demand that people go through and feel all of the displays or, or whatever at the all the stores and they buy all the hot dog men up. So they're not really rare, they just they're very popular and people buy them all. So there's our cool sheriff. That's definitely one of my favorites right there. Not because I'm from Texas. Everyone's like, oh you're from Texas. That's that's all you do down there is Guns, 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 and tumbleweeds and horses. No, you're wrong. All right. So this is another one that I got quite a few of, and I wouldn't. I mean, they're okay, but it, the the sci-fi space theme is kind of not my not my cup of tea. Still a pretty cool little figure. I do have quite a few from the other other collectible mini figure series. There's the um, space guy. Slightly different than he's got a different little emblem. So this this armor is very dark bluish gray. But then the um, the printing on there is kind of a slightly silverish color. It blends right in. You probably can't even see it on the camera. Blends right in right there. I wonder why his face is dark gray too. And he's got a double printed face, so he's got the normal face. Which you see with the helmet on there. And then, of course, he has the little clips on his armor. 
what's up with that? Do you, do you clip on the guns? Do you clip on other accessories? Oh wait, do I have the armor on backwards? I do. Okay, that does look silly. That's okay. <laughs> Oh, it fit. It fit going the front ways. All right. <laughs> so either way, the clips are still on there. Now they're on the back. So what do you do there? Do you clip the guns on, or do you mock it and make kind of other cool accessories for them? I'll let you be the judge of that. That's our space guy. Next. Oh, yeah. The disco girl. This one has an insane amount of printing. This is actually really cool. The the arms have printing on both of them, and the legs on the sides. I can't think of any time I've seen side printing on the legs before. Here's the big 70s afro. Got some skates. Skates are cool. I really like the new ice skates, though. That have come out here recently. There's the 70s disco girl. It's actually really impressive the amount of printing on it. All right. Moving on. And we have the Goblin. So this is another figure that is wildly, or in my experience, has just been wildly available. Of course, I did my blind purchasing of these, and I think I have four or five of them to return them because they just, they just seem to be that available. And I really dig the sack well whatever's in there gobliny gook stuff and hair piece I mean the, the hat is okay it's very um I guess specific to just these minifigures it's hard to I guess use this in other other types of figures it's kind of, I really wonder how they mold two different colors. As you can see, the, the olive green that goes all the way through. But then there's that brown hat color on the top. Got to be two separate, two separate molds. Hmm. It's interesting. I guess that's why these are $4 now. They're getting harder to make and more detailed and do that. Or like I was just making it. Ton of money off of us. There's the Goblin. Like I said, I have quite a few of those I need to offload. Either trade or sell somehow. Next up is the, the Alien, which is not necessarily my favorite figure of this series. Not too big into the alien themes either. And the detail on it's really not that great. It's just kind of so so. It's not bad. It's not great though. Next. Oh, the snake charmer. I just forgot about this guy. 
Once again, this is another one that I have a bunch of. Don't know why. But I just have quite a few of these. Figure out what to do with them. It's cool if they molded this stick piece into actually something that looked like a musical instrument. You know, we have the saxophone now, which is really cool. You know, what if you do some sort of flute or other musical instrument besides just the saxophone? I think the only instruments that, that we have are a saxophone and a guitar. Correct me if I'm wrong. But um, the stick is supposed to represent some sort of woodwind instrument. Snake is actually really cool. It's kind of that rubbery plastic. I thought it would be a harder molded plastic like a lot of the other Lego animals, like little friends animals and stuff. This one's actually a rubbery. See, I'm kind of turning it. It's kind of a rubbery plastic. It's actually a little slimy. It almost feels like a snake. A real snake. Actually, snakes are not slimy. But maybe a little bumpy. So there's our snake charmer. Really cool. Next up. Another carpenter. So this is the figure that I want to duplicate of, just for my personal collection. So of all the ones that I felt, I usually go for the additional carpenters. Just love the detail on him. Especially now that I've opened it, it's just even more detailed than I thought it would be. Of course, the little piece of wood is different. Normally, it's that dark brown color. This is actually a, a light, kind of sandy beige color. And of course, our cool little handsaw. There's a another carpenter, that makes two. Next up is this guy, some sort of evil fire wizard. Pieces. He has the most pieces that I can tell in all of the figures so far. So we've got a head, I mean a kind of a skirt, yes, the skirt, slope of brick piece, the torso, we've got a cape. And he's got this little neck piece. That's four. Technically four pieces right there. And then we have the beard. It's five. The head, which makes six pieces. I'm trying to get these little cloth plastic capes kind of straightened out. A little tricky. Six. And then we have seven for the fire holder, eight for the fire, and nine for the little stick piece that goes underneath it. And then ten, the little plate that they stand on. Ten pieces. It's one minifigure. It's a so so minifigure. The The head is printed pretty well, kind of that evil, old-looking, you know, weathered look. And the torso has a pretty cool little skull printing on it, along with the little square pieces. Not too bad. And this is definitely a display piece, because these are little cloth skirt cape things will get bent up pretty easily. Yeah, I guess I'm building an army of carpenters. Or 
or more or less just a constructed group. All right, the female Cyclops. So we've had the Cyclops before. This is the female version. Female version is it's kind of funny, in my opinion, because we'll focus. It's not going to focus. It's basically the big eye with the long eyelashes that makes the female version. What it's trying to focus on. So once you once you put the big cyclops headpiece on, you don't really see too much of the eye. Especially this version. So there's two the eye is double printed. So you have the Eye with the big eyelashes, and then you have the eye which is wide open. So the eye wide open when you put the headpiece on just looks like a cyclops eye. And then when you have the kind of the half half open, half closed, and you put it on, then you can see the eyelashes. Kind of the Chima effect when you put the Chima headpieces on, you can't see the detail on the on the printing. All right, so what do we have here? We've got, we've got four, eight, 12. We've got 12 of the 16 so far. We've just got a few more packs left, so that means we're obviously not getting our full complete series. All right, here's another one of the highly sought after ones from what I hear. This is one that I have quite a few of as well, not on purpose. I kind of wanted more or less a complete set, not necessarily duplicates of too many. This is the unicorn. And the tail piece is new, kind of cool. Female face, you can tell that because it has lipstick around the uh, little smile. It's kind of a smug, kind of a forced smile, not necessarily a real happy smile. Kind of a get me out of this suit kind of smile. There's our unicorn. Of course, it has the, the unikitty, you know, unicorn piece or Olaf's nose, just white. There's 13 or more. This is the last pack. So do the math. We've got three missing. What we got here? I know what it is already. Because I've helped them. It is another carpenter. So I did get three carpenters. Which is okay. Because I didn't mind getting multiple of those. Three carpenters. They're pretty cool. So what am I missing? So I bought 32 packs just randomly off a of shop at home. I'm going to take back all the duplicates that I don't want. So I'm missing Burger King guy. I really kind of wanted him, but more or less just for, for fun. I am missing Paleontologist Girl. Which is okay, it's more or less just that, that cool little headpiece, and then I guess you can make a printed round tile there. And the last one I'm missing, which I'm really disappointed, I really wanted that one, was the Samurai Girl. Like I said, I have, I have quite a few extras of the Unicorn, I have a couple extras of the Sheriff. 
I have a lot of the goblins. Um, a couple extras of the aliens. And I think a couple extras of those. Those are the ones so I've got of, of the 32 that I bought. Um, for some reason, this one, the, the space guy, I guess the space trooper, the goblin, and the unicorn were the ones that I got multiple duplicates of. I think I got quite a few of the um, alien trooper guy. So I got four duplicates of quite a few. I know I only got one of one of her. I only got one of that guy, one of the hot dog, one of the roller girl, one of the cyclops. All the others I got duplicates of. So interesting. So those are the minifigures that I have. Like I said, I'm going to try to somewhat set up a trade for all the extras that I have. I also have a box full of minifigures kind of off to the side over here that, that has these in the So I There's all my duplicate mini figures. So I, I need to somehow set up some sort of trade. Well, these are just kind of as I've gone through. As you can see, each one is kind of individually bagged. And what I don't want to do is, is open a lot of the collectible mini figures that I'm really not going to have any any use for. As you can just see as I slowly pull these out how many how many duplicates I have and they're falling on the floor and everything. And this whole bag is, is full of them. We've got superheroes, we've got Old Ranger, Harry Potter, there's Lord of the Rings, we've got Benny. I have a lot of minifigures that I need to figure out what I want to do without trying to open up a Bricklink store. And I know I could probably sell all these pretty quickly on Bricklink. So, don't need to add too many more duplicates. I've already got two of them right here. So I'm not going to add any more. These are all going to go on my minifigure display case. I also have quite a few right, right up on in that cabinet in that shelf. It's full, getting full of a lot of minifigures. I have to figure out which ones are duplicates or not. I, I kind of take inventory about once a year and figure out, organize, and you know, sort the minifigures just because. They're one of the most unique things in the sets. So, who we got in here? We've got Maniac, we got Belfast. I'm not going to keep this. So, Saturday nights are more or less my, my one nights that I've used to do a lot of my videos. It's like the one night that I have to, to do a lot of recording. So, I just wanted to do something different tonight with the live opening of these minifigures. So this video is going to be on my, my regular YouTube channel. So I appreciate um, Kellen for stopping in for a bit. Uh, Maniac, Belfast Bricks. Who else is in here? Thin Co. And Juliet. Oh, yeah. Looks like everyone else is.
yeah, the carpenters are going to help. <laughs> and not really help build it, but they're going to be there in the city. And we'll have a city update in a few days. Um, it's, it's a crazy time of year with springtime and kids playing um, baseball and other sports. So I'm really, really pressed for a lot of time. But I've got, I've got something cool to share with my my city video that's coming up. Um, and it's it's definitely Lego related, but it's not so much progress on the city, but I'm, I'm excited to share that with, with everyone. So that's it for this one. Thanks everyone for joining me. This is gonna be a kind of a shortish live stream. Um, I'm, I'm gonna, I've got some ideas for a lot more live streams here in the future, but um, I just kind of want to do these small things here and there just to get um, some of the kinks worked out. So thanks again for everyone joining, and we'll see you later.